That was challenging, I will say. But I, I, I also think that that was the perfect example of how we must uh, relate uh, the academy with the policy, the policy makers. Uh, in my case, I have the opportunity to be in both sides at the same time, uh, many times. When I were in Cambodia, we did the research with UNICEF, we presented it to the government of Cambodia, and they started implementing it. And also in Ecuador, when I was doing my research, I also had the opportunity to be related with policymakers uh, in Ecuador uh, and to promote the implementation of social protection and policy change in the social transfer, the Ecuadorian social transfer called Bono de Desarrollo Humano. That's actually how I made a concept note to the candidate, Lenin Moreno, at the end of last year, and he took it and he proposed it to the population and he won the election and after that he called me to be part of his cabinet. I would say that that is really challenging. It's something that needs a lot of time, a lot of your time, a lot of your personal time. That is the challenging part indeed. However, I would say that there is a, um, something that benefits both sides because I, it could bring field experience to the academy and take from the academy knowledge and research and international evidence to make a policy decision more efficient. Well, we have the proposal and it has been approved by the president and discussed with all, all the cabinet. Then you, have to, you go to real life and real politics. And actually, it's just to have the right time and the window open to push and implement the, the proposal. We are doing that. I, I have the opportunity as Minister of Planning to get involved with the design of social policies. Uh, as I said, I, we already discussed that with the president before he was, he was elected, and now we are starting to implement it. We have budget constraints, we have a politics uh, going on, and you, you, you need to have a lot of patience, actually, to be doing the things step by step. And I think we are on that direction. Probably we will see in the... In the in the coming months, uh, the, the whole proposal being implemented. And we will see, and uh, again, we have the opportunity to be testing and, and sharing knowledge from the academy and from the policy decisions uh, that can improve how we deal with poverty. I would say that from the academy, from the academy what we need when we take policy decisions is knowledge. It's basically knowledge. And if you are doing a research, if you are doing a PhD, and that means creating new knowledge, that knowledge should be useful for the society. We do have problems, we need innovation, we need technology, but we also have social issues like uh, the quality of education, the quality of health, and also the efficiency that we need to eradicate poverty and to achieve the sustainable development goals. So I think that the academy should be looking at real problems of real people and to make knowledge useful to solve all problems at human, at human beings. And from the policy makers, what we need is to be open to receive that knowledge, to receive that criticism. It is not possible that policy makers uh, evaluate themselves, but we need the academy also to evaluate what we are doing and to do it better. From politics, what you are looking for is to improve quality of life of population. So I think that at the end, academy and policy makers and the governments uh, share the same, the same objective and we have to push together in that way. Probably what we need also from the academy is to make knowledge available. It has to be understandable for policy, for policy makers in order to, to receive it, to receive it and to, and to use it. I think it is possible. You need to enhance that uh, objective number 70, the one to talk about the alliances and the financing for development. We need to work on that. Low income country, but also mid income country, uh, need more resources. We need to think about redistribution globally. We need to be sure that the resources are available for development, that those investments must be efficient and transparent, but we need to be sure that the resources are there, are available. And that means also that we need to think not only from the perspective of economic growth, but also from the perspective of redistribution and where the money is going. If we look at fiscal, fiscal paradise, I, 
uh, there you have dozens of millions of dollars who are going out from developing countries to developed ones, and we need that money back to be implemented uh, in social policies, in productive uh, policies, to to promote structural change on the economy and on the economy and innovation. So it's something about the alliance that we need globally to promote um, development all uh, around the world.